Hey y'all, welcome to fourth grade, chapter 10, lesson four. We're gonna go ahead and get started um, with number two. So, what if name a pair of lines that appear to be parallel, okay? Parallel lines will never touch. So, there's one, and there's one, and together they are parallel because they will never touch, okay? So, we're going to have lines A, B, and they have arrows on the end, so we need to put a line that has those two arrows. And BD, same thing. Okay? All right. Name another pair of lines that appear to be perpendicular. Perpendicular means that they cross, okay? So, you could do AB and EF. You could do C, D, and E, F. Either one is okay. Okay? So I'm going to go E, F with the line with the two arrows. And I'm going to go C, D. There we go. Okay? All right. Draw and label the figure described. M, N, and P, Q are intersecting at point R. Well, I'm going to say that we're going to have to cross them. So, M, N, and P, Q, and then they're going to intersect at point R. Okay? Not so bad once you get used to the lingo, guys, okay? So, WX and Y and Z are parallel. Done. Okay? Now, you could also do them sideways. There is nothing wrong with that. You do not have to do both. You can do one or the other, okay? All right. F and H are perpendicular to J and K. F and H are perpendicular, so they cross to J and K. Okay, make sure that you draw in all your right angles, okay? All right. All right, name two streets in the intersection that do not appear to be perpendicular. So two streets that do not cross, okay? I would say maple and birch. Those are the ones to me that do not cross. Okay. Oh, I'm sorry, guys. I got that one wrong. Hold on, let Miss Leah fix that for you, okay? I read it wrong. Name two streets that intersect but do not appear to be perpendicular, okay? So, they cross but not at a 90 degree angle. So we could have oak and birch or we could have oak and maple. Sorry guys, my bad, I misread the question. Or oak and maple. You could have either one of those. Sorry, guys. Not these guys. This guy. Okay? Perpendicular means they cross at a right angle. Okay? All right. Name two other streets that appear to be parallel to each other. That's where we're going to go maple and birch. Okay? So 
There we go. Okay. Now we're going to go on to the back where you guys are going to do the lesson check, just like always. Okay. And we're going to go down to this bar of you. Okay. It says the class has 360 unit cubes in a bag. Johnny divides the unit cubes equally among eight groups. How many unit groups? unit cubes will each group get. So let's do 360 divided by eight. Okay. Eight's not going to go into three, but it'll go into 36 four times. Four times eight is 32. We subtract, we get four. Four is smaller than eight, so I'm going to bring down my zero. Eight goes into 40. Five times, five times eight is 40. Subtract, get zero. So 45 cubes. Okay. 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 So there are 5,280 feet in one mile. How many feet are there in six miles? So I am going to take 5,280 feet and I'm going to times it by six because this is one mile and I need six miles. So six times zero is zero. Six times eight is 48. Carry our four. Six times two is 12 plus four is 16. Carry our one. And six times five is 30 plus one more. 31, 31,680 feet. Okay. Sue has, a, has four pieces of wood. The lengths of her pieces of wood are one third, two fifths, three eighths, and one fourth. Which piece of wood is the shortest? All right, so I'm gonna write them in. Okay, which one is the shortest? Okay, so first we need to find a number that all of those go into. Okay, so I'm gonna say, you know what, we're gonna do it another way. Let me show you guys this way, okay? Okay, Miss Leah is not an artist, so please, Forgive the ugly, okay? So the first one I'm gonna cut into three, roughly even parts, okay? The second one I'm gonna cut into five. One, two, three, four, five, okay? The second one I'm gonna cut into 10. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and 10, okay? And the last one I'm gonna cut into four. So I'm gonna cut right down the middle and then I'm gonna cut each one of those in half, okay? So, all right, now I'm gonna color in the right one, the, the ones that it says. So it tells me one of those three. That's that one, okay? It tells me two of the five. It tells me three of the 10. And it tells me one of the four. So when I'm looking at these, this one's shorter than this one, so it's not gonna be this one. I mean, not gonna be this one. These two are about the same, but that one's smaller. So one fourth is the smallest, is the shortest, okay? You can absolutely show your work this way. There's nothing wrong with it, okay? All right, Alice has one, one fifth as many miniature cars as Sylvester has. Sylvester has 35 miniature cars, okay? How many miniature cars? does Alice have? Well, so 35, I'm going to divide that by five. 
Okay. So five doesn't go into three, but five times seven is 35. And I get zero left over, so seven bars. All right, guys, there you go. Thanks for hanging out for 10.6. Come on back for 10.7. See you.